Yo, 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 welcome back, lovers of Amiibo. I gotta stop with that. That's not a good intro. I need a different intro. I'll come up with one later. But hey, we are here training our wolf Amiibo. We're gonna turn him into a future raid boss, which should be fun. So, uh, a few, few wolf training tips are going to be, well, displayed during this video. So, step number one. Give him a name. Seriously. If you're gonna... Why is learning turned off? Turn that on. The, okay, that should... I mean, that should just automatically be on, but I don't know why mine was off. I might have had him in level one amiibo turn. Maybe that's what it was. Anyway, make sure that's on. But real first step, give him a nickname, people. Give him a nickname. Make one that, like, stands out. Make one that's gonna put fear into people. So, today's wolf raid boss amiibo, what are we naming him? Fenrir. Fenrir. He's like a... He's like a... What was it? Some, some some gods, like, son, and it was a wolf, and he ran around causing chaos, so, like, perfect. Perfect name. Let's go. Oh, yep, then we gotta save the name. Hold on. Yep, I knew that. And registering, and boom, done. Say hello to Fenrir. Oh, let's go. I like that. Plus, I gave him the little black and red outfit. I think that one looks the best. My opinion, my opinion. You could disagree if you want, which is fine. So, part two, second step. And if, again, part one's optional, but... Part two, this might be where it really starts to ramp it up. Give them, if you're gonna give them support spirits, if you're if you're not doing a vanilla version and you're going straight for support spirits, give them the support spirits before you start any training. Keep that in mind. So, after long consideration for what I'm doing, I have decided first one for Wolf, or Fenrir in this case, is going to be Neutral Attack. Where is Neutral? There we go, Neutral Special. You gotta make use of his Blaster. It's very, very strong, very powerful mechanic, very good move in terms of racking up damage, kind of keeping your opponents at bay. So first one, Neutral Special. And you'll see like uh, his attribute, his, uh, his characteristics, his personality, that will change when you're giving him these spirits. Just don't worry about that, alright? Do not worry because during training it will turn into what you're going for. If, you, if you're if you trying to go for aggressive, it will turn into aggressive as long as that's your play style. So, um, rule, uh, number two. The second thing that I'm thinking about going with is because Wolf's smash attacks are very good. All three of them, up, forward, and down. They're all really good KO options. Um, what am I looking for? Uh, Victini, right? There's Victini. Hyper Smash Attacks, I feel that's just very worth it for uh, Wolf in this case. So Hyper Smash Attacks, yes, let's go. And then I think number three, just because Wolf's going to have to kind of get up close and personal quite a bit, I'm feeling we might end up going with probably a physical attack, I think. That'd be the best case. So uh, we got, I don't have any, oh, I do have a duplicate. Here we go, physical attack, there we go. So punches, kicks, and bites, physical attack. That is the setup that I am rolling with for for uh, Fenrir in this case. So up next means we have to go back to smashing. So the training portion begins. So I'm gonna go down here. I'm changing this. So step three: put uh, do your training uh, your training I don't know course whatever you want to call it. Make sure you have like a preset. So for me, I do ten. 10 stocks. I do 10 stocks. Now, where's Wolf? He's right there. There we go. So, 10 stocks. It is uh, it is a stock battle for me. Make sure it is stock. I don't like timed. I've had weird results with timed battles for some reason. So, I prefer stock battle. But, uh, 10 stocks in uh, in battles. Usually, this will take about uh, 4, maybe 5 matches depending on how the training goes. And then, they should end up around level... 30 to 35 somewhere in there and then that's when we could turn training off but that's another step that well I'll talk about once we get there so let's uh let's oh no I'm using ah it's fine, it's fine. I'm using the wrong controller but it's all right so so for wolf for wolf we got to make sure we make use of our blaster but uh, probably a little bit uh maybe a little bit at range so he knows how to use that properly and then uh get them smash attacks going oh here's another one down tilt or forward tilt at ledges strong attack Make sure we uh, take advantage of that. Make sure you do it. And if their uh, wolf has any uh, true combos that you know about, make sure you get them involved. Look at this. Good stuff right there. See? Not able to come back. Wolf's up special. That really needs a bit more range on it. That is kind of weak in my opinion, but uh, we're all good. So we're going to continue the training. Anything else I can 
think of, I'm gonna pop in throughout the video. So, uh, yes. Wait, hold up. Hit him with it. No, he didn't come back. Alright, down, down tilt. Nope, miss. Down smash. Make sure you get them smash attacks. Those are gonna be key. Here we go, ready? Forward smash. Good stuff. Make sure to get those in as much as possible. Woo, you see me catch him with that back air? That's another strong one for him. Make sure you get his back air incorporated. You don't want to spam the same move or two uh, over and over for a KO option unless, you know, that's how you want him to be. Unless you want him to be spammy, then that's fine. Go for it. Oh, I missed it. Went early. But, uh, yeah, do not spam the same one. So, he, Wolf's got multiple KO options. All his smash attacks. Back air's a good one. Forward tilt at ledges. Another good one. And uh, Wolf does not need to go off ledge. Okay, he's not coming back. But, uh, yeah. Uh, make sure you mix up as much as possible which uh, moves you want him to KO with. Because uh, more versatility, the better for your raid boss amiibo in the future. Shield break, make sure you punish. Bam! Punish them shield breaks. Gotta make sure they learn that. There you go. See it? See him? He hit me with the forward smash right there. Make sure early on in training, you let him KO you with the moves you want him to KO you with. Because the more that those moves hit, the more likely they will be to use those in attacks. So uh, that is key. That is something a lot of people do not do. When people train amiibos, they like to dodge attacks all the time. And then their amiibo ends up sitting there. Oops, missed that one. But uh, then their amiibo ends up sitting there, not doing the attacks, not turning out the way that uh, people had hoped for. So... Yes, make sure you let them KO you with specific options. Ah, nope, he's not coming back. Dang it. That's alright. That's alright. There we go. That's a good one right there. Finally. So that was key right there. I mean, I didn't let him. He actually got that on his own. But that was big right there. He got me with the back air. That's something I want to kind of get into his head here a little bit more. I want to make sure he understands back air is a legit move. So anytime I see him... Get another back air or two here in the next uh, next few minutes. All right, get another one on him. Just really drill it into his head. Really just kick, kick his skull in at this point. I mean, that's what I got to do. That's how they learn. The more moves they connect, the more likely they are to use that attack. But I'm liking what I'm seeing. He's only level 24, but he's uh, he's getting pretty aggressive. Usually uh, during training, my raid bosses, uh, they don't get this aggressive so early. So I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. Come on, down smash. Uh, that's another thing I've, i got to work on a little bit more here is down smash as I do forward. All right, hold on, hold on. There we go, back air. Follow it up. Blaster, missed. Blaster again, there we go. There we go, got it. Oh, no, survived. It's all right, he's fine. Hit him with that. Back air, oh, hit me with the down. Oh, forward air, not quite the one I want. Ugh. Nope. One more, one more, here, back air. If I could land it. Um, controller. Controller! There we go. There we go. There's another back air. He needs to start landing these moves a bit more, though. A bit more. There we go. Hits it again. Starting off the next match. That's what I'm talking about. Back air. I recognized it, luckily, early enough to where I was like, nah, just let it. Let me fall down. I will get it. I'm okay with that. Because he. I need him to do that. I need him to do that. Can't just rely on the smash attacks the whole time. It's part of the training, after all. I don't want him to be a one-move spamming puppy, all right? He's going to be he's gonna be legit. He's going to be the Fenrir that causes damage that is uncontrollable. That is all about chaos. Get him, Fenrir. Oh, no, that was a bad idea. Oh, I grabbed the ledge. Thank goodness. Woo, whoa, where did that come from? I'm not teaching to go off stage, but I like that one. I can do it, too. I can do it too! Come off stage with that back air! Now, I'm not even teaching him and he's doing that on his own. And then I followed up with my own. Ooh! Ooh, Wolf is getting, or Fenrir is getting a little, uh, a little dangerous here. Uh, I'm liking it. Is, why is dangerous not a personality trait? How's that not a thing? Excuse me? You got like aggressive and offensive, but where's the dangerous? I know there's reckless, but, uh,. Wolf is far from reckless, so he ain't getting that one for sure. But uh, this should be the last little bit of training because, like, look, he's at level 32. Yeah, he might have uh, six lives left, but this one ain't done yet. No, come on. 
Hit him with that. And then... What? Excuse you. Okay, now he's starting to pick up the pace quite a bit more. It's getting a little bit more challenging. So that's why I definitely do not recommend training uh, with learning on until level 50. Because then it just becomes a little bit of a nightmare. And you'll get out of patterns that uh, you're trying to teach him. I'll take it. That's fine. Whatever. I was going to... Oh, missed it. So, such short range. But... Um, yeah, that's kind of the next step, and I'll show you once. Well, we get there, just turn off learning once you get to around level 30 to 35. It's just so much easier for training because, uh, well, it's just simpler. Once I get to level 50, actually once it's about level 40 and higher, then uh, training becomes really, uh, really difficult. And uh, you just don't want to mess up any progress that you've made. I mean, if you can hang with them, sure, by all means do it. Because that's how I used to train raid bosses. Get them to level 50. Learning on all the way. That's how I used to do it, but not anymore. This method is so much easier. Get them to level 35, 30, somewhere in there, and uh, you're good. You're golden. Alright, like I was just saying, the next step... Look at that, he came out right at 35, perfect. Again, it doesn't have to be exactly at 30. It does not have to be exactly at 35. Just somewhere around the 30, 35 range, it's a great place to just turn learning off. So go to customize, turn learning off, and then the best part is, here's what you wanna, let's check him out. So he comes out as quick. That's a bit interesting, so uh, we'll see how that one plays out. But, uh, so now you really actually don't have to do anything for training, but get him to level 50. So if you want, just throw him into a match against a computer and, uh, just let him uh, go at it. So he's all set for now. Once he's level 50, we will come back and uh, we'll fight him to see how he uh, really turns out uh, once he's at max level. But uh, yeah, so uh, I like to do this though just to be safe. I always save it as well. He's done. I turn learning off. Save it just in case at some later point. Say he gets to level 50, right? Say I get him to level 50 and he... I just don't like the way he turned out. Maybe there's something I gotta work on a little bit more. So, what's simple about that, now that I saved it, he's at level 35, so if I need any uh, any more further updates to him, need to improve on something, oh look at that, he's back at 35, and then I can do a quick little match and say I want, to, want him to use down smash a bit more. Go into a match, use down smash quite a bit, make sure he does it a little bit more, and uh, it'll change his, uh, change his uh, personality a little bit. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So, I'm just putting this on, uh, this even, this, even this match is not going to get him to level 50, but, uh, we're just going to do a level 99 stock match against the computer, and, like I said, we'll be back once he's level 50, and, uh, we'll fight this little bad wolf. All right, after a little bit of tweaking, a few more matches, I've been able to get defending Rear up to level 50, and, um, this is the fun part. This is where we now level him up. This is where we put him at, uh, and by the way, when I did a little bit of training, I did uh, two more matches with uh, Learning On, but I only did two stocks in each match, and uh, he actually came out at uh, Lightning Fast, so that's kind of cool, and I think I'm going to keep him at uh, like a defensive type of uh, character. I think he's going to be able to hit hard, but uh, I kind of want him to be on the more defensive, so, uh, you know, the shield up there. That's, I want that to have more stats, so... Um, what can we play with? What do I have, like, extras of? Um, no, not... Qu I'm not going back to quick. I like the lightning fast version, first and foremost. So, well, we got Paula here. 2801, yep, we're doing this. We're going Paula, so... And always keep in mind, amiibos do not absorb any, uh, spirit... Or, uh, any, any physical... Tra they don't absorb any of the traits from primary spirit. So, Paula does say PSI attack up. That does not matter. They only, Amiibos, they only gain the power from Primary Spirit. So this one's actually pretty good. Uh, I definitely think I'm going with this one. So uh, let's uh, lock that one in. Bam. Nice. There we go. So now the idea, we're just going to go face them. Yep, can't be strengthened any further. So there's his final stat line. Lightning fast defensive wise, which is interesting. But then 1399, 2801. Still got the same stuff, obviously. Did not change any of that, because there's no point to change any of that. So, <clears throat> oh, hold up, hold up. We definitely got to save. Definitely have to save him. And uh, I'll do, I'll, I'll probably do one or two matches here. We'll do one or two. Yeah, so uh, let's see how we turned out. We'll do some uh, do some mirror matches for sure. So, Wolf v. Wolf. Um, this should be tough. 
I really do think this is tough. So if you don't know, Lightning Fast, the, uh, what do I call it? The, the personality. Lightning Fast personality is one of the tougher ones to obtain. But, uh, oh wait, we gotta scan him in. That would probably help. Otherwise, how else am I gonna battle him? Come on. There you go, Fenrir. Let's go. All right. Let's do this. 1v1, 3 stock. So, uh, Lightning Fast is definitely on the aggressive, the, the heavily aggressive side. Basically, the, uh, their idea is to overwhelm the opponent with uh, a bunch of attacks. And, uh, yep, oh gosh, here we go. Yeah, see, he's just going to constantly be... I mean, that's what most... Uh, I mean, they, they do have some personalities that are, like, all defensive. And uh, that would be kind of fun to train one just to see how they turn out. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. I was even jumping back. I was on my way back. That had so much... Oh, so much launch on that. Look at that. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm liking to see. So I can't wait till, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat him. Nope. Nope. Hold on. Down smash. Miss. Nope. I can't wait to put him against some of my other raid bosses and just see how he fares. Because, uh, I don't know. I know there's like, uh, there we go. There's a good shot. But I know there's like, uh, amiibo, uh, tier list. And I don't know where Wolf would rank on there. So I'd have to check that out. Maybe I could even make a video on that. That could be interesting. Uh-oh. Coming down. Got you. Come on. Come on, bro. Come fight me. Come fight me. Nope. Miss. Down smash. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought he was going for it. Come on. Rack up a little. I'm only, I've am only. i only gotten him up to 45. Oh, no. Yep. Dodge. And uh, forward. Yes. Okay. Okay. This one might not... We might not even get a stock off this one, which would be horrible. He's still doing a lot of the stuff that I was... Uh, he, that I was teaching him, which is just good to see. There we go. There's a good shot. Good shot. Let's get one stock off him. I need one stock. One stock. I did not... This one thing is down there. Ken Spike. I didn't teach him that, though. Huh! I went for it, and I paid the... Oh, I made it back. Wow. Wolf should not go off stage. Wolf should stay in space. Or on stage. In his ship. In this case. Come on. Come... Uh-oh. Miss. Uh-oh. Here it goes. Got you. Nope. No, 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 no. Give me one stock. Let me get one stock off you. I could do that. Oh, he really grabbed me off that? All right, Wolf might be a little, or Thin Rear might be a little, uh, little too aggressive. Maybe not. There's no such thing as too aggressive. He did. He turned out fine. I like this.